<laughs> On tonight's episode, we're going to talk about SCX 10 2 Blazer. And we're going to do some more flips. Thunder out there. It knows this show it is knows coming. episode 20 is it's here. struck lightning. No, welcome. Episode 23. Episode 23. Urch Weekly. Oh. Urch Weekly. No. It's the yeah. Ultra RC Hobby Show. Everyone knows that. So let's, uh, let's pull some clips off here and see what we got. Oh, yeah, I'll pull the front. Welcome to episode 24. 24, Ultra RC Hobby Show. Welcome. Episode number 81 of the Ultra RC Hobby Show. He's Chris. Aaron. So we're here doing stuff and things. Obviously, well, if you haven't figured it out in the other 80 episodes, we play with RC cars and such. Yeah, we do things. And stuff. And stuff. flips. And other things. Cool things. So we've been doing this build for a customer. Um, this is going to be a birthday present for his son. So really excited with this build. Uh, thank you, Jonathan, for letting us build this and having some fun with it. So uh, I'm gonna call this a pretty classy budget build. So this is a Axial SCX-102 K5 Blazer. Uh, this comes as an RTR minus uh, battery and charger. So so no, no battery, no charger. Uh, we'll take a 2S or 3S with the stock components. But, but, we kind of hopped it up a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely got hopping capabilities. Nice. So, yeah. So this is what we did. Can we look? Yeah, you can totally look. I smell shoe goo. There's yeah, that's time. why. Let's just Yeah, place. just unplug that for me. Okay. Put it reverse, Terry. There you go. Get that so, beautiful body first things right. first, we put in a Yeah Racing light kit. So Ooh. we have headlights, marker lights, and obviously they're headlights. Uh, we're still worrying about the other set of uh, reds. But for anybody doing a scale build, wire management, that is the key, that is the key. So on this, we used uh, some Shugu to do the wire management on there, make sure everything stays together and everything's in the body. Yes. So the only thing we have to plug in is this little lead right here into the extension off the receiver box. And then under here, looks like we've got a 35 turn 540 trail master from Holmes Hobbies, yeah. uh, the 1080. Correct, Hobbywing yeah. 1080. Yeah, Hobbywing 1080, and then a 20 kilogram Protec Servo. Nope, Power HD, my Power friend. Power HD, sorry. You're close. It started with a P. It started with a P. And had an O in it. Yeah. So in there, just got mixed valves around. <laughs> so the nice thing with this Hobbywing uh, 1080 is it comes with a free program card. Yes, which is a which win. is really nice. Yeah, two or three S capable, waterproof, mm -hmm. not water resistant, drag brake, crawler reverse, uh, and programmable settings, obviously mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. Program card. And you don't have to unplug it from the receiver to program it. That's it correct. Right through the auxiliary port. Makes yep. it really nice and easy to program. Or you can plug in a fan. Yes. Whatever you're into. Yeah. So programmability or fan capability. Ooh, Take your pick. There you go. Uh, also pick a really nice clicky uh, power switch. Waterproof. Waterproof switch as, well. as well. And it's lit. So when you yes. turn it on, that light will actually yeah. turn on so you know your truck's on. Yes. So very, very nice. Uh, the other thing that we did do when we soldered this up is we did put bullets on there. Normally, VSP controls do not come with bullets, so you will have to solder mm -hmm. something on there. Well, that'll make this a much more reliable truck then, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. like this comes with the uh, Dynamite AE5L mm -hmm. for lights. Yep. Um, so it did have factory lights installed on it. Which isn't a bad speed controller, but they are mm -hmm. known as the previous Axial 85s to have their issues. Yep. Uh, and we know as a Hobbywing, I ran this system. We know we've sold a lot of these. They run really well. And I mean, for the price of that, yeah, it's oh, super dang. nice. And it's small, nice aluminum top. Yeah, so for like a $60 cool. speed control, yeah. you can't really go yeah, wrong. Fully waterproof. Yeah, and I mean, the back, it's got a big back yeah, exactly. to power the Power HD yeah. servo. Uh, Power HD servos are have a tendency to be a little bit power hungry. Mm -hmm. If you're on a castle speed control, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yep. You'll need to put a, a cap pack on there or a BEC, so a battery eliminator circuit, mm -hmm. and take the standard one out of 
uh, the truck's yes. ESC plug to plug in the receiver. But this um, eliminates all that wiring, everything, plug it in. That's correct. Have some fun. We got some uh, udder butter in the transmission as yep. well. So uh, if you're looking at getting your trail rig ready for this winter, Rolling we highly smooth. recommend uh, the udder butter cow C products. Yes, uh, get those moose ready. Moose slick, all the good stuff. Any water sitting in your rig from the summer, as soon as you take that outside, what happens to the water when it freezes? It expands and expands and expands. So that's going to get in your gears, transmission case, everything, and expand. It's going to pull screws apart. It's going to strip out gears, rack bearings, everything, guys. This is going to straight up be hard yeah. on equipment. Yeah. And the other thing that we do, and we recommend doing this on every single build, um, that's a crawler, a racer, anything like that, because it does always come in the box with a plastic one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Servo horn. Atta boy. So we put on the Axial uh, HD aluminum servo horn on there. It's a double clamping. Yeah, so, really nice horn. Yeah, what double clamping means is there's going to be a regular screw that attaches the horn onto the servo. And that screw always has to go in, Yeah, just in case. And there's two other screws <laughs> on the side that actually clamp it and really attach that servo horn onto the gears mm -hmm. and really make sure there's no split play or slop. So yeah, other than that, I think we're waiting on some SSD parts for this as well, uh, but it is ready to go. Um, so I'm really happy to see it uh, get completed. Yeah. And I really hope Jonathan. I showed up like just it. as, as Hicks had it running in the back and it yeah. looks really nice, nice and smooth. So yeah, I'm excited. My foot. <laughs> Disrespectful. <laughs> so there we go. Okay. What else are we talking about, Chris? Well, I, uh, I got some more footage of my Revo jumping down the stairs. You guys saw one clip, so I got some more. Here it is. So talking about Cow RC products, we're here in front of our Cow RC selection. Uh, we don't have all of it up, we have lots of the stuff in the back because yes. it is super popular. Yes. Uh, but one thing that I always recommend to people, regardless of what you're doing and what kind of RC you have, is the other butter. So the other butter is a waterproof grease that Cow mm -hmm. RC sells, and it's great for transmissions, anything metal. So if you're doing a rebuild on a crawler, like down the axles, CVs, things like that. And it is available in a couple different forms. Um, so we have a two and a half ounce syringe, Four ounce jars, um, so it depends if you want to get greasy or not greasy. Yeah. That is the question. Chris has a really good experience with this product, so. Yeah, I use the Moo Clean all the time to clean my stuff. So whether it gets muddy, dirty, dusty, or anything, spray the whole truck down, let it sit for a minute or two, and then hose it off. Hot water works best, just because yeah. hot water cleans well. But yeah, it makes that plastic nice and black, and original, and everything. Yep. And that's also what the moose slip will also do. Yes. It's going to be a silicone spray, so if you want something to not collect dust and other things like that, so spray it on, say, your CVs, spray it on stuff like that. That's an awesome product. Uh, they also have a new clean. Uh, it's a little bit different than the chassis wash. This is actually electronics cleaner yeah. slash degreaser. So if you're doing Screen motors, stuff like that. Yeah, or boards before you can form them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that is a big one. They also have a wide variety of different size magnetic work mats. Mm -hmm. So you're probably see, as we film on our extra large Cow RC work mat, we personally, mats. we personally work on all these mats all the time. Um, so that's like a large mat. There's also medium mats. And the cool thing with these mats is on the bottom side here, these come out. Whoa. And they're compartmental. 
So you can compartmentalize all of your stuff that you think about front dish shops, all that fun jazz. They also have little parts, pretty much containers and trays. So you can also get those. That's yeah. what I use when I take myself apart. Get this little tray on the side. Yeah, I mean, great products. We really, really like them. We've been yeah. using them for, what, two years now? Yeah, a long two time. and a half years. That's how long that Matt's been uh, working on, trying yeah. to sit and film in episodes of the yeah, show. That's so, the original Matt as well. Yeah, yeah, I have like three of them. I think I'm at four or five now. So we're getting into the holiday season. I know this is a little bit earlier. We'll probably touch back on it uh, closer to the holiday season. But we're getting into the holiday season. You have an RC on your list. You don't know what to get him or her. Uh, Cow RC products. Always yes. a great start. Always make sure they have utter butter, so a good grease. Hey, he's getting working on the table all the time on like a towel or something. Cow RC work mat. Yep. There, there we go. go. Keep that table clean. Ah, uh, very yeah. nice. So this is the stuff we recommend, and this is the stuff that we personally use in all our builds. So if you need any greases, anything like that, come on down and check out the Cow RC product lineup. We'll Get definitely uh, give you uh, a rundown and, and show you how all of this stuff works because we personally use it and we have it in the back for all of our builds yes. and customer builds. So if we work on your vehicle or something, you know that your gears are getting under butter and degree. Yeah. Some gears. of the best yeah. grease yeah. in the industry. So yeah, that's uh, kind of a quick spiel about the utter butter stuff. Uh, and getting some ideas started for your holiday season. Yes. That's the end. That's the end. Episode 81. 81. Ultra RC Hobby Show. So thank you for watching. But before we check out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Don't forget to check him out on social media at RC Deebs mm -hmm. on Instagram. Yes. Facebook. Indeed. And YouTube. Superb. Very nice. Don't forget to check out us on social media, mm -hmm. so RC Hobbies, on Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, mm -hmm. and Instagram. Don't forget to hit us up on our website, www.altrchobbies.com. I thought you were going to leave me high and dry on that <laughs> one. Ouch, that was going to be rough. I was like, Chris, go, go, go. There was your cue. Oh, I was missing. Yeah, the production footage is amazing. Quality. Awesome. What? 10 out of 10. Anyway, that was episode 81. Yes. Thank you for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>